A team at UC Berkeley have created something really interesting, a new way for AI to learn movement based off of motion capture. It's a faster, more effective way to achieve realistic motion from AI in games, thanks to the AI being able to utilize deep reinforcement learning to recreate natural motion. To put it in perspective, your standard AI character has had to have a ton of physics animations done in order to accurately simulate the correct movement. The issue is not only does this take a lot of human input, time and effort, but it also gives an outcome where physics animations are very specialised. They don't adapt to environmental changes well. So if a game designer wants a character to react differently to different parts of the environment, they'll need to manually model every scenario themselves. What this team from UC Berkeley have achieved is to simply motion capture the movement of a person and then run the AI against that movement literally millions of times until the AI has managed to copy the human's motion. This gives a far more robust set of skills for the AI to implement rather than it being forced to run a predefined algorithm from a set list. It's like the idea of teaching a man to fish versus giving him a fish. If you give the AI the ability to learn how to do a move instead of simply telling it what to do, it will learn not only the move, but how it got to that point. Where did it need to position the model's limbs, weight distribution, etc. With these skills, the AI has learned how to adapt to its environment in real time, so avoiding obstacles, balancing on narrow paths, keeping stable when navigating undulating terrain, and dealing with external forces coming into play, such as throwing objects at it. What's even more fascinating about this is, again, because the AI has learned its movement instead of being told what instructions to execute, it can transfer this knowledge to non-human models. Apparently they have gotten lions, a T-Rex, and yeah, even a bloody dragon working with this. So why is this such a big thing for gaming? Well, because it will save time and money for game developers because they'll be able to implement a physics system in their world with far less work required to ensure their character and any other AI in the world could interact with anything it may come across. They'd be able to essentially teach the AI to move in a certain way they desired and then apply that across the entire world because they know the AI is robust enough to adapt to what they build in the world. It should mean we're able to move away from the physics-less games like the plethora of Ubisoft games and have more titles like GTA where physics look far more natural and is a far more robust and deep system. Of course, I would hope the game developers would funnel the money and time that they would have spent normally on physics into making the rest of the game even better rather than simply taking any potential cost savings into their pockets, but yeah, that's unlikely to happen across the board. I'm very interested in seeing even more about this project and what it can achieve, and I'll be following it closely for any new info, and if anything significant occurs, I'll of course let you guys know. For anything else tech, 21 by 9 or gaming related, then be sure to head over to my channel page and I'm sure there'll be something of interest there. I've got a very cool video looking at the future of TV standards coming tomorrow and how it's shifting to 4K 120fps as a standard within the next few years. See you later.